Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to find the measures of angles of the perpendicular bisectors. Now, what's being requested here is actually a little bit uh, unusual, simply because when you have angles and perpendicular bisectors, you have to think about the uh, definition of perpendicular bisectors themselves. So, let's discuss briefly what this means. Now, a bisector is a line that cuts another line in half. So bi bisection, bisector cuts a piece in half. And perpendicular means you're cutting it or you're intersecting something at a 90 degree angle. That's where you have the perpendicular a symbol comes in and you get to form 90 degree angles as a result. So a perpendicular bisector is a line that cuts another line in half at a 90 degree angle. So when you're talking about finding the measures of angles of perpendicular bisectors, you really want to keep that in mind going forward. So you do need a little more additional information, specifically the measures of the angles that are formed. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief discussion on how to find the measures of angles with perpendicular bisectors.